Granville, Pennsylvania. Nick is there. Nick, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. I hope you're doing well today. I am living the dream, Nick. What's going on? So I have a question. Um, How do I apply the proximity principle when I am looking for jobs that are not in the same country? I'm looking for a job in the UK currently, and I do have a friend that lives there, but she knows absolutely no one in the field that I'm in. Okay. All right. Well, but you do have the friend that's there. Okay. So now we've got a base. All right. What is the field? Um, I'm a lighting designer. A lighting designer? Yes. So I do lighting for like uh, concert stage shows. Okay. And you just want to move to the UK because that's where you want to live. You want to do this for a season or the rest of your life? Um, I want to do it for a season. My my fiance uh, wants to attend school in the UK uh, after we're married, and so I I want to work there so that way we can you know both live and go to school and just be in Europe for the beginning of our marriage. Man, that's really fun. By the way, I love that. That's really cool. That's a really cool thing. Well, here, here's a couple things. Okay, this is not as complicated as you think it is. All right. So first thing is this. Um, you and your, your soon to be wife, you're both like, Hey, let's go do this. Right. So she's going to need to get Uh a job as well. Correct. Correct. Okay. And so, um, presumably you have the opportunity to save some money that would help the transition. Is that correct or incorrect? Correct. Okay, great. So I would, if I were you, I think the easiest way to do this is to save up some money that will take care of you for three to six months when you move over there so that you, A, as this new married couple, you're not feeling financial stress. I would not move over there until you have three to six months minimum of expenses, okay? You got your friend on the ground over there who can help you get some information ahead of time on rent and all that kind of stuff, okay? And good places to live, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I would plan financially to get on the ground and then – Uh, while you're saving up financially here in the States, I would be doing research. In fact, when you get off the phone call, I'd spend about 15, 20 minutes today uh, maybe searching for companies in the UK that are in the general area of where you want to live. Do you understand what I'm saying? And let's just see what's out there. All right? Now, once you do that, I'm totally okay because it's so long distance. I'm totally okay with you reaching out and sending sending your uh, resume and just saying, hey, uh, I don't know hardly anybody over there yet, but here's what we're doing. We're going to have a fun adventure. I'm a very successful lighting director here in the States. I looked you up. Don't know if you're hiring right now or not, but I wanted to at least, you know, make a connection. And maybe you send a personal note to the CEO. You know, you don't just submit a resume. Maybe you do something a little creative. And it's designed to make you stand out, okay? And then okay. the third thing I would do is I would challenge your friend a little bit. Your friend doesn't know anybody in the lighting industry that's correct but your friend knows a good amount of people and who and would your friend be willing to really help you by reaching out to all of their acquaintances and close friends and say hey do you know anybody that works at any of these five lighting companies that you've done research on that can all be done prior to you moving over there okay and then i would make the move over there and try to find a j-o-b initially so that you don't have to touch the three to six months expenses, okay? And then you start making the connections and you use the proximity principle just like you would anywhere else because you can begin to make connections because you know what the lighting companies are and then you learn who the people are that are making the decisions there and you work your web of connections. So you can see there's really no difference between working the proximity principle in the United States or any other country. But obviously, you need to get on the ground, and so yeah. just prepare to get on the ground. And I think you're gonna you're gonna be great. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank man. you very much for taking time to answer my question. Yeah, man, you got some steps there you need to take. I gave you some homework, so do it. And I think you'll be surprised at uh, how many things will churn uh, for you, and then those will spit out some opportunities.